thanks for having us. This one goes out to all the commanders out there. It's called victory. I hope you all like it. One, two, three, let's kick it.
Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, everybody. Welcome. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of fun. I, I see Jaffo's in chat, at least. I know. I don't think you're around, Jaffo, so if you're in chat, I appreciate that. Um, kind of quiet in the Discord today, so if you guys want to, if any of you guys want to stop in and join us, um, I did finally get this working in Twitch. You guys can give it a try for me. Um, if you type exclamation point Discord, um, you can get um, the Discord information. I want to put together a little page that has all of the commands. Uh, because I've now put in a good 20 or 30 different commands. You could do FSD for, to get the FSD booster video, engineers, a bunch of different stuff now. So if you think of something that's not in there, shout it out to me and I'll add it. But welcome, everybody. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of Thargoid fun. Um, and I've got a special guest, a friend of mine from the PvP community. Link1 is joining. Say hey, Link. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> uh, Forgive me, grabbing a little something, right? Um, so Link is one of the higher skill uh, PvP combat pilots in the game, and we were chit-chatting the other night. In fact, you guys can thank Link for the idea of the um, the history of credit exploits video. He and I were chatting about that earlier on, or I guess it was about a week ago, right? Something like that. A couple of days ago, a week ago, then we created yeah. this fancy idea. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he, he produced amazingly fast well, and really, you know, really good video already. As I said, that was that was those are the type that are actually kind of nice to produce because I didn't necessarily have to shoot any special video or you know I just I tried to add some some you know some cool little motion graphics with a little typing effect and stuff. Um, I'm actually taking a course on After Effects at the moment, guys, to try to add some add a little more flash to the videos. But um, yeah, that was quick to to put together because it was just I had to re you know I had to dust off my memory and and remember all the um, all the old stuff. Um, and so uh, so yeah so as I said, Link is one of the higher skill pvp combat pilots in the game he's got a lot of experience in that um flies with prism correct i'm saying that right correct uh, exactly. are you flying I'm in the in the tournament right now no i'm not okay. participating in the tournament since i wasn't really actively playing since already i would say two months okay okay kind of. yeah Gotcha, gotcha. And so, so and yeah, and by the way, uh, Prism wiped the freaking asteroids with us last weekend. Uh, we fought against them, and it was it was pretty brutal. So uh, Prism right now is one of the, uh, they might win the tournament. Uh, they're certainly one of the, if not the highest skill group in the game right now. It's probably going to come down between them and NATO, would you say? Yeah. The description I would say still so. has last I mean, week's I, I definitely would like to be careful with those statements because, um, oops. I don't like to underestimate people or go on easy mode too early or something. Oh, shoot. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Yeah, somebody just mentioned. Forgive me. Let me update that real quick. Um, this week, uh, I the the, um, the description on YouTube, and thank you for pointing that out, and Twitch, actually, because I copied it over, is, is last week's stuff. So whoever just said that, uh, David, thank you very much. Let me update that real quick. While I'm doing that, since I can't top, type and talk at the same time, Link, why don't you tell us a little bit, kind of just a brief, like uh, your history of the game, how long you've been playing, what kind of stuff you enjoy, that kind of stuff. All right. Um, actually, I do play Elite Dangerous since the beta, which I think was 2014. Okay. But I played really on and off from that time. So not like super active. I was like really excited about the game, but it took me really, really some time to dive into really deep. And after a longer break, um, I came back around like 2018. And that was the moment I was like, okay, cool. I really want to get into PvP. I want to learn and know everything about it. And um, after some time, I had the chance to join Prism, which, like you already said, is like a very decent PvP group with a lot of people having absolutely great knowledge about the game, which helped me, of course, quite a lot. So Sure. And... Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. I and mean, so like what I did basically in the game is, I would say, ninety percent PvP, and the rest okay. was necessary stuff to to yeah, unlock to get to PvP. Yeah. yeah. To get to PvP, basically, get the money done, get the engineers done, stuff like that. Have you even been further than five thousand light years, um, save for unlocking, um, you know, unlocking um, uh, Palin and stuff like that? Yeah, because I had to fucking unlock the shield cell banks in Colonia. Right, <laughs> so, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Reason. So I guess you did but have to go out for that, right? That's the only reason I ever went there. And actually, I, I stayed only one hour in Colonia. Once I, then I was done with my things I had okay. to do there. Yeah, okay. And 
Okay. That's it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You know, I, so I've always said that... For what we're going to do f- nowadays, like for what we're going to do today, I have no fucking clue what That's to expect. That's great. That's great. And I will <laughs> most likely day like a burning chicken. That's great. I've always loved that Elite is, you know, it's so many different games to so many different gamers. And, you know, I personally really, I mean, there's no part of the game, the only part of the game I really don't like at all is is um trading it's just not my jam i don't like the just sitting in a station using a menu fly to another station use menu it's just it's just i yeah i just don't i i do kind of dig it at a at a cg where you know i'll do it in open and a highly defended type nine and there's some risk involved but other than that i just don't like uh trade but really other than that and i've probably done enough mining for 10 lifetimes but um yeah i really enjoy exploration especially sightseeing exploration uh we're gonna do some more of that next week guys um, I've got a couple really pretty sites that were um, that I found from the video I did a, a week or so, maybe two weeks back, um, on all the different sites. Um, but yeah, I've I've I now as everybody I think knows, my regular viewers know, combat is also my favorite thing in the game. Um, you know, when I think about what is elite, the first thing that pops in my head is combat. Now it's it's of course everything, right? Yeah, I know Jaffo. Like I don't mean to piss off the truckers. Certainly don't want to piss them off right now. But uh, yeah, and I get that some people love love trading it's just not my thing right it's just you know uh, uh, i get that it's relaxing for folks and and they dig it just not not how i like to relax so um so anyway so today as i said we're going to get to do some thargoids um i do have a command for those that are new to this and have never done thargoid combat we're going to talk through it all Uh, but if you want the tutorial just exclamation point thargoids um we'll link you directly to that tutorial if you want to see it um but um so today we're going to do a couple things and i see some folks have joined us in discord specifically iron fist thanks for stopping by buddy i appreciate the uh, the help if you're here to to join us as well that'd be great um and a scotland explorer bob and anybody else listening um if you would like to come join us to um to kill heretics beloved thargoids as he said uh please do we're down in the system hr 1183 um i'll put that really quick in chat um system hr 1183 Actually, I'm not even sure if I ever been in this area of the bubble. Like seriously. Well, you you must have come down here at um, uh, Ma- for Maya close or what? Maya's close. Yeah, yeah, we're right next door oh, to Maya. Okay. Yep, yep. So you came down okay, here at then. one point for yeah. that. And you came down probably to get your um, uh, to get your meta alloy at Darno's progress on the very beginning, most yep. likely. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. But you probably the haven't been back since then. Wine trip yep. to Maya. We all yep. love it. Exactly. Exactly. So, so let's start by. Um, so what we're gonna do, guys, for the first couple um, kills. Um, I mean, if, if if folks come down, that's awesome. Uh, depending on how many come, we'll probably take on a Basilisk, maybe a Medusa, or even a Hydra, uh, depending on if we get a little crowd or not. Um, we're gonna hey, start. Slow down, buddy. Like, we, we, hey, we're gonna start with the easiest. One, right? Exactly, exactly. So we're going to start with just Link. Can you repeat the part that little Link never did any Thargoid stuff? And exactly. besides the fact that he has like some anti Thargoid weapons, that's about it. Yeah, we got lucky. So Link had, uh, we'll, we'll talk about weapons in a second. He's unlocked a couple of them. The, the critical Gauss Cannon. Uh, Ga- Gauss, Gauss Cannon? Gauss Cannon? Somebody correct me. I think it's Gauss, actually. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so he's got those. So we're going to do, for the first one, um, I'm going to join him in my Crate Mark II. I figured I'd give you guys a nice little um, nice little uh, Boca view of the of the front of it right now. Um, so we'll we'll I'll be in my crate mark two and crate uh, link is going to be in an FDL um, and I'm going to talk him through it. We're going to do the combat for that one. Then after we've killed that one, we'll go repair and then we're going to I'm going to multi crew in Link's FDL and talk him through him soloing one. Then as soon as that's done, then we'll open it up. If other folks want to come join, like I see Bonnie join us in Discord, if Bonnie's up for coming down, um, if we can put a little wing together, maybe two wings together, we'll go take on a couple bigger things that way. Um, So that's the plan. Let's talk about outfitting weapons, ships, that kind of stuff, and then we'll talk about the strategy of how these things work. Um, So the first thing, so in short, you want a combat ship. Um, this can be done in literally anything from a sidewinder to a cutter. I have soloed Cyclopses and a sidewinder several times. I was it was actually the, I couldn't get it fast enough the day that the that the small Gauss cannon came out, so I was the second to solo a Cyclops. Unfortunately, not the first. Uh, but uh, it can be done in any of those ships. Um, the primary weapons that you're going to want for that is you need either the Guardian weapons or the Anti Xeno or AX weapons. So the AX weapons can just be purchased. They of course have 
have to be purchased at specific stations that sell them. Uh, Jameson sells them like normal, um, and I believe it's mostly planetary bases. You can find that clearly or pretty easily. Whoop, whoop, sorry to make you dizzy. On an arm, but... Um, if you don't have anything unlocked, you can just buy the AX Multi Cannon and the AX Missiles. You pretty much want to stay away from the AX Missiles. You want the AX Multi Cannons. Uh, this is one of the rare places. If you saw my video hating on, uh, hating on um, turrets, this is a rare place where you can use turrets because there is no gimbaled version of AX weapons. There's fixed and turreted, um, and the fixed multi cannon is like all fixed multi cannons are real bitch to use so i generally would recommend the ax turreted multi cannon to beginners comes in large and medium you can have a maximum of four um gauss like gauss i don't think it's i don't think is it gauss like paws or gauss like house somebody in i, I don't know i mean i'm german i could I, i'm not allowed to call them gas cannons right i, I would say gauss i think it's gauss, yeah, gauss, 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 gauss. gauss. Yeah. what is it Iron, what do you think it is? Gauss. Gauss, Gauss, Gauss cannon. That's how I pronounce it. Gauss, you know. Gauss like house. Gauss either. Yeah, Gauss like house. Yeah. Not Gauss like or not um, uh, gauze like paws. It's Gauss like house, not gauze like paws. I think it's Gauss. Gargoyle, well done. You're American, so awesome. you're going to sound it differently than us, unfortunately. Well, are you talking about my accent? I mean, you know, you're going to give me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, so you know what? I'll Google it here it right in a little while. The second time, like pause gauze. That's you, you're saying it right, but I say it's gauss, but or gauze, but it's gauss. It's gauze to reminds me of bandages. So yeah, no. yeah, exactly. So it's gauss like house, I think. So anyway, yeah, it's it's a fucking railgun that's like like a th it's a guardian <laughs> railgun. Let's just call it that. It's what you're looking at on my on really my screen spicy, right now. I it's very really, hot. Really, really, really spicy. It's very hot, right? So okay, so back to weapons. So you want the AX weapons that you can just buy. If you're going to go through the trouble to unlock the guardian weapons, and I have tutorials covering them all, um, you want the Gauss, 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 whatever we're going to call it, the, the Thargoid or the Guardian uh, railgun. You definitely want that first. Comes in small and medium, fixed only, like other railguns. You're probably going to go for the medium. Um, next up would be the plasma chargers and shard cannons. The plasma chargers is my personal preference. Um, it works like a plasma accelerator, except you pull and hold the trigger, and when you release, it fires. Um, the shard cannon is a um, is like a flak or like a um, uh, like a, uh, a fragment cannon, right? Like a shotgun, right? Those are great. They're very powerful, but you have to be really kind of up close to them. So they're a little more brawler type weapon. They're a little harder to be accurate with. That's why I prefer the plasma charger. Let's see. Then you're going to have the flak launcher. The flak launcher is what you're going to use against the Thargoid swarm. We're going to cover all of these in just a second. Um, the next thing, let's talk about ships. Generally, like most combat, I'm going to recommend uh, medium class. All right, so um, I personally, as you see right here, I like the Crate Mark II, the Federal Assault Ship, I, really anything that you prefer medium class. Um, Link is going to be in the at the PvP baby, the FDL. Um, and you really want a mix of hull and shields. You're probably going to stay away from shield cell banks. They're just not as useful in this. And you're also probably going to stay away from prismatics. Um, for the most part, I like doing reinforced by weave builds because you're going to definitely lose your shields. I mean, I say definitely, almost certainly. Um, the Thargoids do phasing damage, so they do what damage through your shields. Um, so you want a good bit of hull underneath. And so if you did a prismatic, which I think you actually do have right now, Link, is that right? I do have a prismatic, yeah. Well, um, it's a two-booster prismatic, and um, a friend of mine actually told me try this, while the other friend told me use the heavy bio weave. So I yep. put both in my carrier, right. and I will stick with the prismatic for now, and if things go awfully wrong, I will swap it out later. Great. Great. And just quickly as a side, Darkseid, thank you. Darkseid has linked us from Pronunciation Academy on YouTube. Let's see how they say it. Gauss. Gauss. Gauss-like house. Okay, that's what I thought. Gauss-like house. Okay, so we put that to bed. Um, and so then you also don't need to worry about resistances because Thargoids do absolute damage. They also do caustic damage. We're not going to worry about caustic damage. The Guardian module reinforcement, uh, the, or the Guardian meta-alloy hull reinforcements help, or the, excuse me, the Guardian 
hull reinforcement has caustic resistance, but it's you don't want to use that anyway uh, if you're going to do engineering, certainly. So we're going to just build for for base numbers, right? So if we do a biweave, we wouldn't do the typical thermal fast charge because thermal does us no good. So we do reinforced. If you're going to do boosters, you would not do resistance or thermal augmented. You would only do heavy duty. And for your hull, you're not going to do reactive or mirrored. You're always going to do military and you're only going to do heavy duty deep plate on the, the armor and any hull reinforcements. Um, it is a good idea to have module reinforcements, specifically the Guardian module reinforcement. Um, that helps against the force light that, that we're going to certainly come up against, which can do module damage. Um, and arguably, the Guardian module reinforcement is better than the standard human module reinforcements anyway. Um, can you use a Cobra to get Guardian stuff? You can. That's not what I would use, Blackwood, because you're generally going to want something with a pretty good jump range for the distances you have to go to unlock the Guardian stuff. I would generally recommend a uh, Diamondback Explorer for something like that. Um, but one quick tip that I actually do not have in all of my Guardian Unlock videos, but if you're going to go to a Guardian, a guardian site throw a point defense on the roof of your ship that way when the sentinels fire missiles at you your point defense will take out those missiles so just a quick tip okay so we've talked ships we've talked outfitting a bit right um by the way i've got a build guide that covers the um, crate mark ii that i'm flying right now uh in fact hold on uh link would you be willing to share your build with the I was going to the ask you want to hear home? my fancy version I came up with. So that once again, awesome. I have no fucking experience with Thargoid hunting, killing whatsoever, right? So actually, the very first thing which came to my mind was a build of another known PvP called Dangerous.com. And he had always a version with a long-range beam laser, three well guns, and a Guam bomb. And I thought, hmm, we kind of can transfer this over for Thargoid thingies. We keep the long range beam, we take three gas cannons, and we take one of those flag launchers. That's it. Then the shield is, like you already said, probably wrong. It's a prismatic right now. It's like a two booster prismatic. So I reach in total like 2000 megajoules. That's about it. Okay. The rest is completely whole. So at the moment for Great. the FDL, Great. the FDL is not the typical whole tank. So I have like 2800. Four Perfect. points at the moment. Perfect. Which I hope it's going to be fine. I was a little bit creative when it comes down to the beam because like the first test shots I did, I realized, okay, this baby is really spicy. Those Gauss cannons are really, really generating a lot of heat. Very much so. So I had to kind of figure out how to place an armored power plant with thunder spread. I had to downsize the um, beam actually to a class three beam, which uh, gave me a little bit more freedom for power usage and stuff. And that's a great so, idea. Yeah, let me just, I don't want to, let me not glance, gloss over that, guys, because when uh, Link and I were talking earlier about his build, and he mentioned that he was bringing a, um, a, um, a long range uh, thermal vent beam, one of the things he actually mentioned was he has it on the same fire group as the Gauss cannon, so that whenever he pulls the trigger, the beam fires first to start cooling him off, and then the Gauss cannons fire. And I said, well, you might not want to do that because of the distributor draw of that huge beam to which he very quickly cut me off that instead he's running a large beam because it doesn't matter about the damage we're going to talk about strategy here in just a second he's only looking for the thermal vent effect so exactly brilliant it's in more fact, like an you almost could have run yeah you almost could have even run a medium on that for for that matter right oh, just exactly that. like it would be basically have the same effect and giving me even more freedom for go. for power usage right so exactly at the moment it's like a um, large beam laser and it's also fixed so basically the beam will always shoot first before the yep. gauss cannons actually yep. do their shots in fact I i'm gonna did, try the I same did create thing the second fire group i did create uh -huh. a second fire group just in case which only includes the beam laser if i want to shoot it on distant on my own perfect perfect and a flag launcher and one thing I have no experience with, and I have no clue how it actually works, is this shutdown field neutralizer. Yep. I have to explain me later. That's a great segue. So let's talk about that. And just quickly, uh, Lego jo just joined us. Uh, another one of the higher skill PvP pilots. Yeah, they're game. all here to see me fail. Yeah, that's the oh, thing. Right? What, what's going on? Title, so so we are. This, yeah, this is the first time. Um, so the, the shtick of the stream is I teach a PvP expert how to kill Thargoids because Link has never done Thargoid combat. Okay, I don't cool. think you've done much of it either, have you? Uh, I did a little bit. I got okay. really annoyed. We we were fighting like a, a fucking Hydra or something. Uh huh. You did actually. And, and well, 
you had me put like a bunch of AX multi cannons on, and I just orbited the thing, unloading multis into right, it. Right, right, because like, that's all you multis until I until I ran out of ammo and then right, I left. Right, right, right. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it yeah, we fortunately when we're talking like the the good thing about this is Link already had the Gauss cannons unlocked. Okay. So okay, yeah, yeah, so because of that, he had like you know he's got the real good weapon. Now that said, like oh, if you're up for coming down to join us, that that'd be awesome, right? You're welcome to. Oh, that's okay. And and again, anybody else that wants to come join us we're going to do the first two by ourselves to talk strategy and teach it to link and then after that we're going to go depending on how many pe people can join us uh, we'll go after something bigger um again we're in hr 1183 if anybody'd like to come down um so okay link. so let's you should uh, uh, no, link, you, should pull a, you should pull a f dev and forget how to deploy your weapons on <laughs> no no forget is forget his pips and weapons <laughs> Right. For like 20 minutes. Exactly. Oh, you know, actually. In I fact, can do a little bit of sabotage if you want to. Can somebody on Twitch check for me real quick? Uh, just because it's the first time they've done it. I'm curious if they got it right. Frontier is supposed to be hosting me on their Twitch channel. So if somebody would glance oh, at that no for me. Oh, no talking shit. Right? I, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. I, I would talk shit anyway. Um, if somebody could check that for me, I would Doesn't just be like curious, him. right? It does not look like it. Correct. Okay, okay Iron. I can't okay. even bother right you. But actually. I'm... <laughs> okay, I'll ping them later then if they didn't, right? Oh, they are hosting. Oh, okay. Mary Poppins just said, yeah, they are hosting. Okay, well, cool. Sorry, Actually, yeah. I'm Sorry. a little bit more worried. Like like those anti-Thargoid builds, I mean, the moment a player would attack me, I'm fucking doomed. Well, I'm, yeah, not sure. well, I'm not even sure if those weapons would do any damage no, to a player. No, like, they won't, they won't no? but they're, you're not yeah. going to die. Right. Exactly. You'll be able to escape oh. certainly easily enough. And the odds on somebody coming down here to mess with us are very low. Now I say that, watch somebody show up, right? Okay, let's mm -hmm. let's move on. Let's talk about strategy. Let's talk about how this works because right. um, Thargoids are, there, there's legitimate strategy involved, not like, unlike NPCs of really any type, where it's just a numbers game, right? You're going to just out-damage them before they out-damage you. So, okay, so when, you, when, you, when we fight the Thargoid here in a second, there's a few key systems we need to understand. The first one is is the Thargoid has four hearts, okay? Um, and um, Iron, I'm going to keep the wing with just the two of us for right now while we fight the first one. So after we do these first two, Something I'll get you in wing. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so there's four hearts for the Cyclops where we're going to start. They go up from there um, with the Basilisk 5, the, the Hydra 6, and I think the Medusa is actually 8. Um, and so each of those hearts are going to be on one of the petals that we're going to see around the Thargoid. The way that we target but since those, I don't have a scanner. Well, since I, I have a scanner, I've got, them. yeah, no, I've got okay. a scanner, so you will be able to, right? Um, and you only need one person in the wing to have a scanner, so there's no reason for everyone to run it. Uh, we're talking about shutdown field neutralizer in a second. Um, and so once we drop in and scan the Thargoid, we'll get um, targeting data for all four of those hearts. And what's important about that is when you start to attack it at first, you need to do what's called exert. The heart and essentially that means you've shot it enough times again with anti xeno weapons um to have the heart light up red you can do this without scanning it because you can definitely see it visually it's just nice to be able to like if you're using the ax multi-cannon you want to be able to sub target that and you're going to need that scan data to do it right it's also nice to be able to see what percentage each heart is at while you're firing at it so you know if you've almost killed it um once you kill each of the four hearts when all four hearts are down, you're left with just the hull of the Thargoid. Once you kill the hull, it dies. Now, there's a few other things that happen along the way. There's Thargoid, there's shields. So the shields will go up and down at different times. So once you've exerted it and you kill the first heart, the shields will come up. For a Cyclops, those and shields And it becomes will... unkin unkillable for some time or something, right? Correct. Well, you have to take the shields down before you can exert the next heart, all right? So what you so you can either wait a minute and a half for those shields to drop. That's how you're going to do it in something like a, like a Sidewinder, where you just don't have the raw damage to, to, to fight it enough. Um, or, like we're going to be able to do, because we have much stronger ships, we're just going to fight through that shield and take the shield down. Um, so after each heart, the shield will come up. You then take the shield back down or wait. Then you exert it, take out the next heart. After the second heart, let me see, I think I've got this right. Second heart, it will fire caustic missiles at us. If a caustic missile hits you, caustic damage will start eating away at your hull until either you die 
or it's cleaned <laughs> off or it's cleaned off by a decontamination limpet, it's cleaned off by landing at a station, or it's cleaned off by running your heat above 180 percent for a few seconds. All right. Yeah. So yeah, since funny. we don't have decon limpets link, if you get hit by one, you're going to probably go silent, start firing your Gauss cannons and bring yourself above 180 percent for a few seconds. And it will clear. Wait, 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 but, but, but you want me to go silent running even if I, I, I still have my shields up? Well, it, it, it depends. It depends on how quickly you're, you're losing hull. And at 2800, it's not like your hull is going to melt quickly or anything. But here's the good thing. They're really easy to avoid. They're relatively slow. We're going to know when they're coming. You'll get a warning on screen, you know, uh, 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 organic missile, you know, detected or whatever it is, right? You then target, you know, your dangerous target. It will target the missile. You, you FA off. Well, you'll be FA off anyway, but you boost and run from it, right? You kite it for about, I think it's about 30 seconds. It explodes and then you go back to the fight. Okay. So it's generally pretty easy and not a big risk. All right. After the third, All right, okay. after the third heart drops, he'll pulse his shutdown field. We'll get a warning for that. It'll say energy surge detected. When you hear that, I generally count to four, and then I fire off the 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 shutdown field neutralizer, just like an ECM or an electronic countermeasures, where you're going to pull the trigger and hold until it reaches its maximum, which is a thing which gives it at full at full juice a three kilometer range around your ship. So anything around you, and you don't have to have one yourself, like your wingmates can protect you. Anything in that three kilometer radius will not get shut down. Okay, if you get shut down. You're waiting for about, I think it's about a minute, while potentially the Thargoid's going to come over and face fuck you. And you don't want to be face fucked by a Thargoid. Right? Damn, like, the more I think about it, it sounds really exciting, too. Oh, it's um, great. It's great. Oh, and I see emula em Emulated Penguin just raided me. Thank you very much, buddy. So welcome. Welcome, everybody. That was a nice little chunk of folks. Um, we are discussing Thargoid combat with um, one of the higher skill PvP combat uh, combat pods in the game, Link 1. Um, we're just kind of explaining mm -hmm. through where how the strategy of this works. Um, so that's to catch you up real quick. So welcome, everybody. Um, okay, so once the shutdown field... If at that moment, even if you've got the shutdown field neutralizer, just in case you fuck it up, for those that are flying toggling like I am, I'm going to toggle FA off. I'm going to boost away from it. That way, if I do get shut down, I'm just going to keep floating away from it. Okay. Um, so I, and again, thank you, Emily Penguin. I appreciate it, buddy. So you're just, you want to just let yourself float away if that happens. All right. If you're FA off anyway, like Link is full FA off anyway, you're just going to boost at that time, Link, away from it just in case you get shut down. And then it's not that big of a deal. All right. After the it, fourth okay. heart, his shields will come up again. We'll fight through his shields and then we'll take out his hull. And it's a very, very satisfying explosion. It's probably the best. And just like for little links again, the whole progress you just described is just like already the easy version, right? That's right. That's right. So this is the Cyclops. When we move up to the Basilisk, yeah, 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 there'll yeah. be five hearts. And the sequence is a little different. I think there's one extra round of caustic missiles. I think if I remember right, that's the difference. Somebody can interrupt and correct me if I'm wrong about that. But I think that's what it is. Um, and so then, um, and just quickly, uh, what if, I, I've seen somebody do this a couple times when they do uptime in, in a chat. Is that supposed to, what, what command are you guys looking for when you see that, right? Uh, and no, this is not pay better than asteroid cores. This pays like shit. You do this for fun, not for credits. If you're looking for credits, um, you can type exclamation point credit in the chat um, and you'll you'll get that right. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot lightning. I forgot force lightning. Thank you. Thank you. So force lightning, that's after the very first heart. So force lightning What do you is... mean? That's, that's not it? Oh, yeah. No, no. We didn't talk about force lightning. Force lightning happens after the first heart, where if you get within 800 meters... Um, if you get within 800 meters, the force lightning will literally grab you kind of like an ion disruption mine and hold you in place and rip your shields down. OK, that's one of the reasons we want to make sure we're running a mix of shields in hull and not just a shield tank. It's also a reason why prismatics are not necessarily a great idea because you're probably going to lose 
that um, uh, lose your shields at that moment, right? Even if you've got a big prismatic, um, it's probably going to rip them down. I mean, depending on how big it is, right? Um, so, okay. So uptime is supposed to tell you how long I've been streaming. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to do that. Right. And no link one is German, right? German uh, uh, link. There's some discussion about where you're uh, from. Yeah. I mean, uh, the better description or better known description would be the German Jamaican milf hunter. Fantastic. Lo that's What's very a nice. Link? That's very nice. A description. <laughs> I think most of our viewers know what a milf is. <laughs> so, that's oh, the basic. Okay. That's the basic strategy. <laughs> we're gonna go back to, to Thargoids. Uh, that's the basic strategy. Um, we're gonna jump out to Super Cruise, and we're gonna be. And I'm gonna go ahead and head out there now, Link. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, and we're gonna be looking for Threat Five, the unknown human so or human. Excuse me, non-human signal sources of Threat Five. Now, a Threat Five. The other Thargoid we haven't talked about here. Uh, what do I hope? Uh, the other Thargoid we haven't talked about here are the Thargoid Scouts, which are the little smaller Thargoids, which can be destroyed with human weapons. Oh, and by the way, human oh, weapons. Oh, we should start with those. We haven't told yeah, they're, like, they're, they're kind of boring. Start. If you know what, if oh, we okay. see some link, because we might, it's possible to see some. If we do, I we'll know, go ahead and fight. Let's them. start. Um, so once again, uh, what is the order of for from easiest to hardest. Great question. So need. easiest to hardest is Cyclops, Basculus, um, Medusa, Hydra. Okay, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do the Cyclops. They do look so, different. I'm sorry. They do look different. Uh, they do look different. They're fundamentally the same, um, but like the 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 Cyclops is kind of the plainest. The Basculus adds a lot of red colors. Uh, the the Medusa adds like these really spiky, like like um, they almost look like barbs on the end of its arms. And the the Hydra is this really cool green color, right? Yeah. And so okay, so back to saying. So in a Threat Five, we're either gonna get um, a um, a Cyclops or we're gonna get eight scouts and then like a threat six would be either a basculus or a cyclops and four scouts so you can get them mixed and so for example the threat five of them i've got locked in front of me if that happens to be scouts we'll go ahead and shoot the scouts right they're, they're not difficult um they're and by the way scouts are about the best way to earn combat rank right now um you can get if you're if you're in that last dangerous category from dangerous to elite you can get about three or four percent an hour doing scouts i right? think you just skip deadly Excuse me, deadly. Excuse me, excuse me, deadly, deadly to elite. Excuse me, excuse me. If you're deadly and you're going to elite, thank you, Link. Um, it's about three to four percent per hour doing it that way, right? Um, I actually recently was estimating how long it takes to get elite in each of the ranks, and it's like trade because of mining. The fastest I've seen is six hours. Exploration you could probably do in about fifteen. Um, at combat, what would you guys guess? A thousand. Like just normal play I don't in the know. game. I, in my career, I will never reach elite combat rank in Elite Dangerous. Right, you're you I mean, I dead, dangerous, I see. And, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I will stay there forever because right. I'm too you lazy don't do NPCs, to do like, exactly. the other grinds. Yeah. And then CQC yeah. is like two years. I mean, like it's just <laughs> absurd. There are 26. Uh, if, you, if you don't count the time it takes to find a match, it, it would still probably be right, at least right, a year or right. something. And by the way, guys. But uh, I would suggest for this evening that we definitely will work our way through all those possible Thargoids. I mean, we can definitely skip the scouts. I think scouts. Like agreed. Agreed. If we happen to get them, them, we'll shoot it. But some, we but definitely yeah. should work our way. I mean, we sure. have to beat the very first one, right? This is Absolutely. like an honor thing. Absolutely. From the from this point, it doesn't matter if we die like a thousand times or whatever. And but I definitely want to see all of them tonight. For sure. Okay, so Link, I'm locked onto one, so go ahead and have locked to me. And by the way, when the shutdown oh, field shit. neutralizer pulses, it will turn off our nav beacons. So we have to remember to put those back on, right? So okay, I'm about to drop. And here we go. Don't drop in well, we're gonna drop on whatever. And there is not a Thargoid here, so do not drop in on me. Um, we're going to look, though, and see. Yeah, there's no probe. There's no nothing. We do not want this one. This is pretty rare you get a dead one like this. Um, but do not drop him. Now, you, Link, can go ahead if you'd like and see if you can find a threat five. It doesn't. We don't have to drop on me. I can drop on you. That's what we're looking for, yeah? Dude, there's so many signal sources. Exactly. Okay, That's why we use this system, right? Uh, hydras are not uh, too bad to find here. Um, I have a threat five, dude. Right I have it. Excellent. Me. Excellent. Let me lock onto you then. Uh, we found a Hydra here the other night when we were looking one. 
Wait, wait. But the moment I drop in, everything is easy peasy. It's not instantly attacking. Correct, me correct. Right? So don't. So essentially, when you drop in, just don't yeah. deploy. Can I mean, high just just hold like still. Yep. Just don't bump it. If you bump it, because he's going to come over and scan you. So don't bump it. Don't bump it. Oh, wait All a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Before you drop, there's one other thing we didn't talk about. I'm forgetting is the swarm. So the Thargon swarm is. I think it's thirty. Is it sixteen or thirty-two for the Cyclops? I think it's 16, actually. Um, it's what do you a, mean 16? It's 16 little of these little tiny, they're called Thargons. Oh, 16. Okay. 16 of these little things that are going to swarm around. That's what, and I don't have a flak launcher. I know you've got one. The flak launcher is what you're going to yeah. use to take those out. It works like the fleshette launcher. You're going to pull the trigger and hold, and you're going to look at the little indicator around it. And when it's, and you got to do it quick, when it's right in range from it, you're going to release the indicator it. and it's going to explode, right? And so yeah. we'll take turns and like you can kind of ignore them for a cyclops but at the same time we're gonna have you definitely do that for some of this so okay so i'm ready whenever you want to uh, drop in i'm dropping and welcome to frontier games blue tunneling perfect there we go these games don't crash okay I don't know. There's a lot these of are scouts. These, these are scouts there. oh these are scouts and they're already so we're me. gonna shoot these with oh, your gauss wait. cannon Wait, I thought we were going to skip those. No, we'll go ahead and take them out. Why not? We'll take out at least all a couple right, of them. All right, all right, all right. Now, some of them are healers, the ones that are, um, and I just got caustic. So I'm going to have to burn that off here in a second. Because this is a this is one that has, uh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I'm losing hope. What the yep, fuck? Yep, yep. Don't worry, it's not going to, like, melt. And do not fly through the little cloud once they're dead. That little cloud will melt your hull. I see. Okay. Think of it like acid from the movie Aliens, that's, that's, right? That's, yeah, it's a great way to describe it, Jaffa. Come here, you little bitch. As always, um, pit management is really critical in this. Um, I, I, if you in chat, if you type exclamation point pips, you'll get my pit management guide. Um, I'm, I'm constantly preaching pip management. Um, you'll see tonight that I'm going to be changing my pips every few seconds. Um, I know that's something link is doing often as well. Um, you really want to get in that habit. Um, the way to take your combat skill really to the next level, like the difference in, you know, a, a beginning combat pilot and a veteran is going to be that pit management. Where the difference in, you know, Link and I is going to be his ability to evade and his flight assist off skills. Those are NPCs. I'm not sure if this is going to work with all the same. Oh, we see. I think they're already dead. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple oh, left. Yeah, there's two left. And you notice, Link, that there's, and I, we're not really explaining these that great. There are different types. There's one that's emitting a green uh, glow around mm, him. I'm having a wide phone on me. Yeah, he is healing the other ones. Um, there's another oh, one so called the Berserker. Him first. Yeah, well, there's a Berserker, and the Berserker one um, gives every, all of them a charge. I didn't see a Berserker in this instance. It's a red one. Okay, one more, it looks like. And then, and if you're going to do scouts, guys, you definitely want to bring decon limpets uh, because if, even if they don't hit you with their missile, you probably at some point will accidentally fly through the through their swarm. Okay, so now I'm going to go silent and burn off my my caustic. Go and burn I it off. Think and then it's I'm gonna fire not necessary six. for me. Uh, I mean, I lost a little bit hole. I'm no, down well, to 96. Hold on. No, your hole is going to keep going down, though, Link. So you, but I can see. Oh. Look, if you look in your bottom right, you see how your hole is green? Oh. And now it's 95, right? It's going to oh, keep shit. going down. Now, you could go back to your carrier if you wanted to. Uh, I'll actually, go you know silent running until I reach. So you've got a couple options, right? You can go silent and then reboot. That's what I would probably do um, if I were you. So yeah, just go silent, fire your Gauss cannon a couple times, and then um, reboot to get your shields back. So which temperature is that? 
180 yep, percent yep. and then once you hit that watch and watch and when it burns off then you fire a heat sink to get rid of your heat uh, you're not quite there yet there you go now fire a heat sink and now you can reboot And of course, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't have pips and systems that I ran by distro dry. So, my Bonnie yeah. and some other folks are saying it's 120 percent now. Okay, yeah, and it, it is one. No, I wasn't even close. Oh, to one okay, eight. okay. If that's a change, then okay, great. I'm seeing some people in chat saying that too. Yes, that change. Uh, that's, that's a no, good. I okay. verified it. I'm glad you I verified that. it. Great. Well, thank you for sharing, guys. I, I, I now understand yet. why you told me a buy reef. Okay, and this is why. Yep, this is why. Yep, yep. Okay, Walking so dead. Let's if jump. You're that's actually me, great I, that it's now 180. Have to talk later. Yeah, I'm glad to hear they dropped that then, because um, 180 is pretty tough to get to. Obviously. Well, no, Mary Poppins has just said that caustic uh, from Scouts is 120. Intercepts the caustic is 180. Oh, oh, okay. So it's because uh, all right, all right, fair enough then. Yeah. Okay, I, I just so we were both we the, were both right. With scouts, yes. Okay, so it's 120 with Scouts and 180 with Interceptors. Okay, okay. That makes sense that, the, that the, the caustic from them would be a little weaker. Okay, so I'm back in Super Cruise. And let's see what we've got next. Whoops. Uh, and by the way, guys, at the end of the stream, kind of like always, um, depending on if there's enough interest in folks around, we'll do some CQC. So if uh, links up for that, if um, if there's other people around, we'll do some Capture the Flag or some Team Deathmatch, something like that. So... If you've never done CQC, you you but you're really bringing me deep in the rabbit hole today, right? With a lot of things you. I'm not really doing. Oh, but CQC okay. is great. If you've not done much CQC, it's a ton of fun. Not really. And threat six. Let's keep searching. So, uh, so you go like full hardcore mode, not like repairing or anything. Just like uh, yeah, I don't worry about run. repairs or. Air. I mean, we didn't take much damage, right? I mean, ninety-two percent, like that eight percent is not going to really make a material difference in this. If I had taken twenty no, 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 no. percent, okay, I've got a threat five again. Oh, that that was pretty far. Well, it's the closest one to it. It's one hundred and sixty light seconds. So follow, just Let's follow go. me. I'm, I'm heading toward the star, by the way. And sure, Shieldless Phantom, Shieldless, Ch Shieldless Chieftain, those are great builds too. Um, I just, I, I haven't put one of those together for a while. I just happened to grab my Phantom, I mean my Crate Mark too. Uh, there's a lot of different builds that work pretty well for this. The, the key is you want a lot of hull underneath it. Or you want to mix, certainly. I held my favorite and what I'll probably bring out after... I probably should have brought it for this one, but I wanted the scanner and everything is. Uh, if we do the Baskless, I'll probably switch to either the Eagle or the Sidewinder. Okay. So I'm throttling down. And yeah, we talked about MRPs. Um, a Roden... A Roder Run Ruin? A Roder Ruin? Maybe I'm saying that right. If I'm getting it wrong, forgive me. Uh, the part of the galaxy we're in, Blackwood, is we're kind of down in Pleiades. Um, so we're down on the south end, if you look. There's there's the bubble. You can kind of see where the CG is up there at the top. Uh, so we're about, oh, I don't know. Um, let me look real quick from Seoul. About 300 light years, 350 light years from Seoul. Uh, yeah, 375. So not too far, especially if you've got a carrier these days within a jump. Again, anybody's welcome to come join us if they would like to. When we're done, we're going to do these first two by ourselves. Okay, Link, you ready? I'm ready. I'm dropping now. And we have a Thargoid. Okay, I'm so I'm going to switch to my scanner. I'm going to, he's going to come scan you first, Link. Just hold still. Yeah, I'm, I'm him. watching him. Hello, I'm friendly. He's going to get a scan on you. I'm going to come over to you guys. Yeah, don't fly backwards. He doesn't look hold, very Hold still excited. for me. Hold still for me. Okay, there we go. Oh, don't hit him, X. All right, I'm scanning him. Have to be within 500 meters to get the scan to complete. And now he's going to scan me. What's really creepy, we're going to let we're, uh, we're going to let them... Uh, we're going to see if he'll do this. Are there any in the... Okay, unfortunately, there's no... Um, there's no uh, um, occupied escape pods in the area. If there were, 
it's really creepy, he will actually pick up the occupied escape pods. Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. You ready, Link? So with your Gauss uh, I, cannons, we're going to open fire. So again, you see the different petals. So what's going to happen? If you look on your targets real quick, you'll see the four hearts. In a minute, yeah, one always, of those I'll hearts. Yeah, one of those hearts is going to show exerted. And here we go. Three, two, one, fire. And the swarm is going to come out. And there's happy. the swarm. And now look, you see one of the hearts is exerted. And you'll see how that heart is bright red on the petal. All right. And excellent. And we're going to go right at that. And in a second, we're going to have you switch to the swarm after we take down that heart. Again, guys, we're only using this beam to dissipate heat. It is not doing heart down. So I'm going to boost away from him. Now let's focus on the swarm, Link, to get you a little right. training on the swarm. So target the swarm. And use yes. your flesh and use your flak launcher on that buddy, on that guy. Like a PA, you want to be probably like kilometer and a half, two kilometers away, and the swarm is attacking me. So give that a try. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yep. And you're seeing the way. And I'm sorry, guys, that I don't have one to show you. The um, we'll probably see this later when I'm on uh, when I multi crew with Link to see his view of the fight. Are those the missiles you talk? Oh yes. yes. So you'll get missiles from the swarm, and those are no, those are okay. Those aren't going to do caustic damage. It will say organic missile when it's caustic. Now, be mindful of the thargoid. We don't want to get within 800 meters of it, like I just did. Let me boost past him. Uh, because that's when he'll grab you to force lightning you. You're getting pretty close. He's maybe going to... Yep, yep, he grabbed you. Did you see? Okay, you got away, right? Oh, but he shit. just started to grab. He's about to get you again. Okay, see how he's force lightning you right now? Turn and fire dude, at he him, fucking dude. has my ass. Turn and fire at him. That'll break it. I'm coming back in to help. Okay, we're going to engage him again. He's on me. Oh, he just glitched. And All right, shields, shields are still up. They're about to drop, and he's face. He's thargoid. All right, you see the the pedals exerted again. So go yeah. for that heart. Heart down. Now we got to watch for caustic. Okay, so be ready when you hear. Let me see caustic missile about. There we go. Incoming caustic missile. Target your deadly threat. And now just watch that missile coming at you and just kite it. By the way, guys, kiting is when you're just kind of fl floating away with something and just kind of watching it go. So I'm not really engaging. I'm just watching that missile there. And they just exploded. So now we can go back in. You can go back to the swarm. I'm going to go to the to the interceptor. I'm going to take it. I'm going to work on his shields. And I can see on my targeting HUD, uh, and the folks can see that I see his shields back up. And again, human weapons do affect the shield, but that's all. Now, Thargoid or Guardian or anti xeno weapons work better against the shield, but you can use human weapons. And since I've got this long range beam, I'm about to lose my. The canopy, one of the problems with the Crate Mark II, um, to be honest, is the canopy is so weak. And I lost my life support. That's common. Remember we were talking about module reinforcements and the module damage they do? <laughs> okay, let's switch back over to the Interceptor now. Yeah. And we're looking for that exertion. There it is. So see, there's another one. And you see how they it's all bright red link that if you didn't have the scan, you really could still do this. Because of the color, basically. Exactly. Right? Like I did this in a sidewinder and I didn't use a scanner for that. You know, I, I need the heat sinks. Now this one is going to be the shutdown field is going to be after this heart goes down. All right. that get it nope not yet okay it's at 31 
By the way, I love the idea of putting the beam on the same fire group as the as the gauss. I'm glad you pointed that out. Okay, there it goes. So now switch to your fire group with the shutdown field. Got it. Make sure you've got power in your system distributor. Yeah. He's gonna turn blue right before he does. Here we go. One, two, three, do it. And are you still um, alive? I am. Okay, there's a caustic missile inbound. Make sure you're kiting that. It's basically like an aim torpedo. Kinda. Yeah, it's a little I think it's I can't remember. Somebody's it's gonna crack me. Uh, with how, yeah, it's definitely faster than a torpedo. I think they're about four fifty or so. They're they're very easy to kite. Okay, so now we're gonna go in Tiger for the last no chance. For the last heart. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to engage. I think the missile is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, he's going to get me. Come here, baby. Now, I also just remembered I've got the damn shard cannon. I'm not even using them. I forgot about those. And the shard cannons are great for the shields, and they're great for up close. Uh, did we get that last heart? Nope, 8%. Oh, you yeah, I think it. you just got it. Okay, so now we're going for the hull, and if we kill him before his shields come up... Okay, his shields came up, so now we're just going to go for oh, that. Oh, so there's a little, little time window to actually... That's right, that's right. Another another way. caustic missile. Yeah. Ah, he got me with it. I'm not going to worry about it, though. I'm going to go ahead. We'll go ahead and kill him. Yeah, the other one's on me. Okay, so let's go engage him. My beam laser is damaged. Okay, there goes the shields. This is going to be a very satisfying explosion, by the way. When he explodes, get away from him because it's going to be, uh, he's going to leave a nice big cloud behind. Yeah, he's at 0%. I'm not sure why he hasn't exploded yet. He's dead. He's dead for me. Oh, he didn't, I didn't get the explosion. That I'm happens sorry, from time to time. Yep. He's, he's already dead. He's sitting in front of me, not exploded. That's a bummer because it is such a good explosion. Okay, let me run my heat up. Oh, that's such a bummer that we didn't get to see it. All right, there's my I heat. I don't need to use any silent warning or something. I'm yep, you didn't get caustic. Sure. I'm looking at you right now. Um, and you didn't get, you didn't take any caustic damage. Um, so yeah. No, so now, good. because we both took a, a fair bit of damage, I took a good bit more than you did. Let's head back to our respective carriers um, and repair. And then we're I'm just going to pull off a quick reboot just in case. Oh, sure. That's fine. That's fine. Um, th be careful though. There is going to be the big cloud right around where he died. And that caustic mm -hmm. cloud will will fuck you up big time like it will melt you fast it's not like the caustic missiles oh, that really? we saw oh yeah okay. it will melt you very very quickly all right let me step back a little bit <laughs> yeah and aaron perkins said he's still so hoping different from from i mean there are some like the sniping part and everything is right, basically right. like model sniping exactly That's exactly exactly um, what was interesting I struggle a lot with the flag launcher and the swarm. I have to say. Sure. The sure. the shooting out the heart thingy is not that difficult. That's okay. Right. But I would say we do it actually one more time together before you fucking let me solo this thingy. No, I'm gonna toss you to the deep end just because it's all we've already been out in an hour. Right. So no, we're gonna t I think you're gonna do okay. I think you'll do fine. <laughs> He wants to see me dying instantly. And yeah, you know, there's a little conversation I see going on on YouTube about crossplay and how crossplay would be great. And I kind of thought so too. Uh, Mr. F um, Farrell made a good point that console players would get just absolutely wrecked by PC players. And that I would love to fight yeah, the PS4 and that's, PC players. And that's true. I think they're good. I think they're yeah, they're 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 like in, in prison, we have a guy called Walking Dead. Oh, uh, yeah, there's some good people. On I don't know if he was from PS4 or Xbox. I really don't know. And Metal Angel is the same. I think you also played on console before. Yeah. And both of them are really, really good. And they already did this on console. Sure. So. Well, sure. Very good. The thing is, they were like the absolute unquestionable best on console. On console, sure. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they transferred this even over to PC. I don't they're, see anything. I think Hawking is even still playing with a controller. I'm not 100% sure, but... I think so, yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. you know, if you're just a controller guy, I think you can be very effective. We didn't talk about that off the bat. Link plays uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, I yes. play Hodas. Uh, Lego, who you're here, and plays keyboard and joystick. Um, so it really comes down to what you prefer and what you're good at. Um, I think arguably keyboard and mouse, especially for something like Railguns, is going to be the most accurate. And by the way, I forgot and wasn't paying attention to my oxygen supply. I've only got a minute left, so good thing I... There's no difference. If you practice, you can be good with whatever. I completely Walking agree. Walking is actually very good with rails on his controller. Yep, I completely agree, right? But I would say that I think rail that arguably rails with a with a key with a mouse are going to be the easiest, but I don't think it's anywhere near enough to make an issue about, right? Maybe if you're like I don't know. I think I don't think it's that different. No, no, I I mean agreed, right? I, or I, but different I think at all. I think you can argue there is some benefit there because of the precision of a mouse, but I don't think it's enough that it that it matters, right? I think, I think you as long be, as you I don't know. Like when, when, when I see say. recordings, when I see recordings of walking, um, <laughs> I don't see any issues on his end right. when it comes down to railguns. He's very precise. Like right. seriously, um, so I would say it just comes down to training and the getting skill. On, the skill on your thing is like sure. aim, it doesn't. Aiming from shooters doesn't even necessarily translate because no, you no, have no, 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 not even, not even close. It. Uh, and yeah, Not really quick. There's a there was a question on YouTube about con, uh, a HOTUS for con, for PC or excuse me for consoles. And yes, the um, the T Flight X, the Thrustmaster T Flight X, um, works for, uh, supports both the Xbox and the PS4. There are also, and I haven't heard back from the guy, but a guy pinged me about. There's a couple adapters on the market that will let you use um, a PC HOTUS like an X52 on console um i but i don't have any experience with those i don't know if they're great or if they're junk i just don't know right um okay so link why don't you go ahead and invite me to multi-crew and this time mm -hmm. we're going to let link fly solo and i'm just going to kind of watch will... along for this next one so fail okay invite a crew we're going to do mentor a player of course there we go you're the one being mentored though <laughs> yeah no shit yeah. i was gonna say <laughs> I think this is a two-way mentor, right? No, like this was like a lot of information on the same time. Seriously, like oh, it's if complex, you would tell me, it? hey, can you repeat everything what we just did? I, I no, I can't. Yep, <laughs> it was really fast. Okay, so there we go. I can remember where I've got my my shit bound for. You guys were talking about mouse and keyboard versus controller. Yeah, and um, there was a tournament. I think Microsoft held it. It was with uh, Titanfall, and they had uh, mouse and keyboard versus um, uh, console players. Basically, the console players played on PC, but they used controllers, right? So Xbox controllers. And the interesting thing that ended up happening was that the mouse and keyboard people were more, like, nimble and quick, and in that game you can do, like, hardcore parkour jumping off walls and stuff. And so they were doing that, maneuverability-type moves. And the uh, controller people were really, really just dominating long range sniper shots. Gotcha. Did you get the, oh, gotcha. You're already in. I was yeah, I'm already in. I'm already in. Um, and just already as a quick in. tip, guys, um, for those discussing HOTUSes, um, in chat, if you type exclamation point HOTAS, H O T A S, um, that'll link to my roundup review I did maybe a year or so ago that covers oh, all the different HOTUSes on the market. So, okay, Link, so we're look, looking for another threat five. You know what? I'm no, sure shit, I have been, but I cannot remember the last time I was in the multi crew seat of the FDL. It's such a different perspective. Look at your silver haired fox. Look at that. Yeah, it's such a different view over here. Uh, and yeah, um, by the way, uh, yeah, somebody just mentioned um, Shin just oh, said he's got back. dual um, VKB NXTs um, for Hosas, which is hands on stick and stick. I actually just ordered a left handed, um, uh, what is it, Lego? The the Gladiator? Not the Gladiator. Yeah, the Gladiator yeah, the NXT. Gladiator. Yeah, I just ordered a left handed Gladiator NXT. So I'm going to try dual stick and throttle, right? And David, no, I've never done a specific HOTUS binding video. Um, the best advice I can give with that is, especially if you know the game, is basically close your, close your eyes, 
go to the binding be like, okay, chaff. Close your eyes and think, where would chaff go? And just wherever that naturally feels for the main controls, that's how I did it a long time ago. Um, you can, of course, just take the defaults and, and find the key binds online for the defaults for, you know, for HOTUS and stuff. But I literally was like, okay, chaff would be right here if weapons are here. And this I, and I just went through and did them that way. And Link, you try to, st I would have stayed right near the carrier um, just in case you do get in trouble or you're pretty weak. But you're fine. Just um, see what, there should be some threats right near us, I would imagine. Oh. I'm getting pulled. It's a by it's an NPC. NPC. Just fight it. What the fuck. Um. Okay. Now I have the little issues. I don't have the sensor because you scanned this thingy before, right? That's right. So you're gonna just have to do this visually, um, and I don't think you're gonna have a problem by doing that. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't I'm realize boomer, that I can't this, see right? that I can't see signal sources in the multi crew seat. I was forgetting that. Yeah, I, I don't That's get. Part of us. I don't get signal sources, and I'm going to go into the extra. And that's a shame too. It this is a shame. A yeah, I agree. Can I actually ignore the swarm just a little bit? And, Absolutely, just um, ignore the swarm. In fact, you, well, here's what we're going to do: you're going to take down the first heart. Then we're going to boost away from it. And during that minute and a half while the shields are up, during that time, I would focus on the swarm. And it can be a good idea to leave only two or three or maybe three or four of the swarm so that it doesn't spawn out another full swarm. Right. Um, and Loco Fry, we're in the FDL, the Fertile Laws. Um, another com tip that um, Woland92 has on YouTube is it can be a good idea if you're using four Gauss cannons to stagger them in two different fire groups. That, that's also a great idea. Um, we're using it in combination with a thermal vent beam, so I wasn't having really much heat issues at all um, before. Link, were you having very many heat issues? A little bit. Not okay. like super crazy, but... Link, are you flying the AX version of the Dangerous.com FDL? And yeah, way, is exactly. There, oh, is there... It. Is exactly. there a Cyclops That's a class in here? three beam. Exactly. <laughs> like, is there a Cyclops in here? I don't see anything. I just see a couple of destroyed ships. Okay, okay. so let's go ahead and jump out. We didn't get one this time. That's pretty, wow, that's uh, rare. Actually, let's look on contacts. Okay, so the one thing that's good to look for and see if there's any um, Thargoid probes or sensors. Uh, probes and sensors are very, very rare, um, especially with fleet carriers. If you get one, if you ever see a probe or a sensor, grab it and toss it on your fleet carrier. Ah, is it like those thingies you can uh, pull off this EMP and... Yep, that's one of the things it does, but it's also prim primarily used for the Thargoid uh, bases where you can turn on the Thargoid machine. Let me look for a closer signal source. Yeah, sure, sure. This one will be that one. Interesting. Mary Poppins is saying that he, he's been consistently getting threat five, empty threat fives. I haven't done this in, I guess it's been a couple of weeks since we did this, and I, we didn't get any at that night that were empty. Um, so this is pretty uncommon for me, but I, I, I don't do this um, nearly as much as some. By the way, Link, where would you like my pip? Oh, um, put it in weapons. Okay. Which hole, Link? Which hole do you want it in? What? How much hole? What? <laughs> he said, which hole do you want it in? <laughs> oh, man. Mackie Sasser said that he saw a probe and he went too fast to pick it up and, and rammed into it and destroyed it. Yeah, that's pretty brutal given how rare probes are. Hmm, it's interesting. Like, most of the signal sorts are like weapon fire threat one. Oh, that's a pretty that good idea. So Wolin 92 has got a really nice tip. I've not heard this one, so I'm glad I'm reading this. That if you wait till the interceptor moves into the, the debris field, um, if there's a debris field, uh, before you start firing on it, that way when it deploys the Thargon swarm, the swarm will smack into the debris and kill itself. I mean, I'm guessing not all of it, but it'll take out a good bit of it. That's a good idea. I, I'm glad I saw that comment. Thank you, buddy. Have you got one? Threat like six? No, a threat th yeah, that's yeah. a threat six. No, okay, no, no, we want no, a threat no, five. No. We want a threat five. Yeah, still looking for it. <laughs> yeah, F for probe, emulated penguin says in chat. Apostle, were you able to come down and join us? Threat five, found one. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, cool. I know Bonnie and Iron Fist are down here. 
Uh, Cement was going to come down here, but I don't see him. Yeah, he was supposed to. I just realized he was supposed to join us at the beginning of the stream. Oh, actually, can you put the axe of pips into systems? Sure. Wherever you want, buddy. Yeah. But now I get it why the, the prismatic is definitely not the smartest idea for sure. I lost Not sensors, so Mary Poppins. Sensors aren't rare at all. Probes are rare. If I said sensor, forgive me. Probes are very rare. I did not, Willand. He said there was a reports that throbes were appearing regularly in threat fours in Witchhead Nebula. Okay, no, I had not heard that yet. Is there a new timeout thing when you relog from private to open? Uh, no, not that I, I've heard. There's, I mean, if you're under fire, you'll have the same. Um, there we yeah, go. Now we got one. If you're under fire, you'll have the 15 seconds. All right, I'm going to do a, a kind of a third person view. So, okay, buddy, since I don't have a scanner, I don't need to say hi to that's the That's correct. Team, that's right? correct. You can literally open fire right now. Wait, let me let me mentally prepare myself. <laughs> oh shit, what are you doing to me? Oh shit, oh shit. Alright. Take this motherfucker. Oh we're in one fire group actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to track it from the third person camera. Try to not make you guys dizzy. So you'll see it when it goes red, so keep the fire on. There you go. Okay, so you see it on the pedal? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's the one. Just keep drilling it. There you go, first heart down. So now get away from him. Now, if you want, Link, we can switch to doing the, um, the swarm. This is a good time. Down. Yeah, this is a good time to use the flak launcher to go ahead and take out the swarm. What is the range of this thingy? Oh, we'll find I out. Think it's three kilometers. You don't want to use it past probably two or so because the swarm can change direction pretty quickly and then it you wasted your shot. And you can use it very short range. Like if they're right in front of you, you can fire it and release yeah, really quickly. Yeah, I There you go. And you guys see how that's working. So it's firing. Let me zoom in here a little bit. It's you want to let it get right up next to them. There's a little indicator that you see. Let me see if you could, if we can see that indicator from the cockpit. Yeah, it, it looks like we can't because um, because and you didn't bring the turreted one. Yeah, you didn't bring the turreted one. Let me get out in this view again. Okay, now I would leave the few that are left there, Link, and let's go back right. to the Cyclops. And his shields are probably going to be up, so now we're just going to start doing damage on him to take those shields down, exert, and go for the next heart. Oh, interesting. Look at Mary Poppins saying there's massive issues. And Mary, you're saying that the flak would, I would, I would be seeing that problem as the multi-crew seat, or Link is seeing that problem? Link, you're seeing the little indicator when you fire the flak launcher, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So it must be for me seeing that. As the crewmate, the, okay, great, great. Thank you for letting me know that. There is... Uh, okay, there you go. He's red now? Yep, he's red. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, Lego. Uh, I mean, it's only been, what, three years, so we can cut him some slack. Well, they'll, it's they'll the same work as multi crew as it is with a wing. Yeah, it's just yeah. the, the client to client T sync. So keep on. That. And for those who don't know, the reason you suggested not killing all the Thargod. Uh, yeah, I said so that another one doesn't spawn out. If there's, if Jaffo, if you had another reason you were going to say. No, no, no. I was just. And looks like you took out that heart. You might have lost the exertion, Link. So you have to I, get it. Now? I, I can't tell. I don't oh, think I didn't you get took it out time, the pedal. Yeah. So if you don't do enough damage quickly enough, it will it will lose the exertion. And so now we need to get some more damage on him to get that exertion back. Whoop, whoop, where's the... Link, is your rail aim bad? I guess so. I, I can't stop talking the thingy. Dangerous.com is disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you 
might Let's be. Let's go back to the cockpit view. Yeah, we're pretty, we're close enough. There you go. Now th this can be buggy, so it also could be. Okay, there it's re-exerted. But where is it exactly? I can't. See. Oh, so there it is. See, okay, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you see the one that's all. There you go. That's exactly where it is. Don't forget your heat sink. There you go. There you go. Okay, so there's the second pedal down. Now we're going to watch for the caustic missile. I don't have control of your heat sinks. Okay, no, I don't. All right, so target that caustic missile and just kite it. There you go. I think you got the heat sink tar. Well, maybe that's just me. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And it'll be down in just a second. There you go. Now I can attack him again or what? Okay, exactly. I would go back in for the next attack. Yes. Not exerted yet. Okay, his shields just dropped. I saw his shields just drop. Hmm. Keep it up. There you go. It's exerted. You see it? And you can do damage to it from the beh from behind, but it doesn't like getting fucked in but from behind. You want to roll it over that. Although you just drilled it off, so that's three. Now be ready with the shutdown field neutralizer. So switch to that fire group. We're gonna That's see him. Fire group. We're gonna That's see him turn one. blue. Okay, great. We're gonna see him turn blue. There we go. And one, two, three, fire it. I think I fucked it up. Yep, you yes. sure did. Now, you're still moving, which is good because you were FA off. So let's see if we get hit with a missile. Nah, I think we're getting distance. He's there. Yeah. Oh, I shit. Can't. How long is it gonna take? I can't even find him. There he is. Yeah, we're getting some really good distance. Zoom in on him. This takes actually some time. There we are. Come on. Get back to me. Oh, let me go back to the cockpit. Yeah, so let's re-engage. We're going to just not worry about those that swarm because it's pretty small. It's not doing much damage to us. You're doing great, by the way. At 92% hull, that's awesome for your first go. There's actually an achievement with AXI if you if you beat one of these with 100% hull. And it can be done. I've done it before in a crate mark, too. And don't forget those heat sinks. There it is. See it? I don't have enough power. Come on. Nice, nice. All right, so now it's just the hull. We're probably getting another caustic missile. And you can stay aggressive on him. Stay aggroed on him. Caustic missile, dodge that. As long as you're paying attention to that missile and kiting it, you're, you can go in and engage again. Missile is behind me. Yep, and it just died. All right, keep at him, buddy. Let me get in the external camera for this. I'm gonna turn the game sound up a little bit. The explosion is pretty pretty good. You'll we'll hear him scream. There he goes. There you go. Nicely done, buddy. 
Okay, so far so good. Honestly, yeah. I was expecting now Don't go to through die. that cloud. Don't go through that cloud. Be careful. Be careful. There you go. 90% hull. Wow, dude, that's very, very well done for your first one. I am not surprised in the slightest. Um, okay, <laughs> so let me jump out of multi-crew. And, and now, if anybody else would like to join us, we're going to... Hey, look at that. I actually got rewards. A whopping 1.6 million. Of course, we're sitting there and doing nothing. That wasn't bad. And yeah, you made a whopping 2 million credits for that link. Oh, really? Yep. Well, only if somebody would do a video on credit and balancing. I know, I know. Somebody should bitch about that. Okay. No, but that's that's YouTube really I like that doing that, though. Just one all of the four, right? Oh, shit. Wait, one at a time. Say that again, Link. And that was the easiest one out of the four. That was the easiest one. Absolutely, right? We're going to go for a quite a bit harder one here next. Um, and, Link, you've got to end the multi-crew. Mm-hmm. So Iron and Bonnie, I'm sending you guys uh, wing invites now. Who is this band? And then I see a few other folks. Um, Explorer Bob, A Scotland. Um, you guys will just need to uh, pay attention and drop in our our nav beacons or low wakes rather. And so you're disbanded. Okay, let me get you in, uh, Link. Bonnie. But I have to say, actually, that's funny. It's um, I, I'm kind of surprised that I really, really never tried this for myself. It's fun, isn't because it? Because it's, 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 yeah. I probably will not do this on a daily basis, but no, no, but I definitely should have done this a lot earlier. Yeah, yeah, right. As you see, it's complex, right? There's a lot of strategy to it. It's not just run and gun. Uh, Bonnie and Iron, I see you guys have taken some shield and hull damage. I don't know if you're fighting one now. Um, if if so, and you're willing to bail out on it, so you can come join us, uh, that'd be great. So yeah, I'm just finishing. I'm on I mean, the last it's definitely like a completely different thing as to to shoot on a player for sure. Like, yes, yeah. you can't even compare it. But um, interesting, I have to say, yeah, interesting. Let's find a threat six. Iron, are you there? But what? What? I'm shieldless. Your, are you back out in Chieftain. super already? Oh, you're shieldless. Oh, I'm in super crazy. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking for a threat six. If anybody else finds one, shout out with it. Uh, and then Bob and and Scotland, um, let's make sure we can at least see you um, in the instance. Because uh, it doesn't look like I do. It looks like you guys might not be instanced. Uh, what we might do... Um, so, Bonnie, you're going to keep fighting that one then? I'm just finishing one. Wait a moment. It's the well, last part. What, one. Okay, why don't you do this then, Bonnie? If you'll leave the wing, and then we'll re-add you to the wing okay, after okay. we get them in. And by the way, I've got a threat six. Okay. And so then, Bob, what we'll do, um, if Bob, if you and A Scotland can friend up with each other, um, and A Scotland, I see you're in HR 1185. If you want to join us, we're in 1183, not 85. If you're doing your own thing, no sweat, good deal. Yeah, and then Explorer Bob, if you'll once we get once you get dropped into the instance, if you'll drop out of the instance and then potentially wing up anyone else, that would be great. And yeah, um, Cressley, I see you asking in chat in Discord. Anyone's welcome to join. Absolutely. Uh, and again, guys, if you'd like to come join us in Discord, if you've got questions for us, um, you know, primarily about Thargoids, but if you've got other questions for Link, you're welcome to welcome to ask. And if you'd like to come join us for gameplay, you're welcome to do that as well. If you type exclamation point Discord, um, it will give you the link to the Discord. Okay, I've got one. Is anybody near me to drop in? I'm on your six. Okay, Link, are you nearby? And by the way, Link, cycle your beacon back on because the shutdown field will shut it down. Uh, yeah. Uh, the system we're in, guys, is HR 1183. Oh, okay, thank you, Bob. He might, he's next door, so he might be fighting them in um, 1185 is also a good system um, to fight them. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, because I only see... Oh, okay, there's Lion's Way. Or Link's Way. Okay. Ready when you are. Uh, Link, are you not... Are you in Super Cruise, Link? Oh, interesting. I just arrived I in my carrier and now I'm going uh, to... Okay, okay. I'll give you a second then, Link. I'll wait till you're here. We'll get everybody... We'll get everybody around it. There's a uh, question in the YouTube chat about running away from a Thargoid. Will it hunt you forever or does it give up and uh, go away? I think if you get far enough away from it, it will de-instance and leave, but you got to get pretty far. Um, and yes, there is a video about my HUD colors. If you just type exclamation point HUD, it will link you to that video. Ah, there you are, Link. If I tried the Delphi Megaship instances out, um, I, not that it's been a long time. Uh, I did one of those uh, quite a while back. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's one of the instances where the actual, um, you'll, oh, I'm going to loop this one. Um, that's where there's a mega ship, um, that's been attacked by the Thargoids and there are Thargoids around it. Is that what, is that the one that we're talking about? Yeah, I'll admit, Blackwood, I obviously I've run these colors for literally three or four years. I really like my color scheme. I think it's very easy to read. It works really, really well in VR. Okay. Uh, Link, are you throttled? Are you stuck in a gravity well? Yeah. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm okay. speeding up slowly, yep, but yep, surely. No worries, no worries. I'm, I'm going to wait till you get nearby before I drop. Bob, can you turn on your beacon for us? Because I'm not seeing your beacon either. Okay, so King Huster is saying that Thargoids will follow you forever. Um, I thought that you could get out of instance with them and de-instance with them, though, if you get far enough away. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with you, X. I mean, I, well, maybe it, uh, maybe if you're slow enough and you can't get away, but I think if you need something fast that you can get far enough away for it to de-instance. Yeah, if you put enough distance between it, it gives up. At least that's been my experience. Okay, Link's nearby. Iron, you're here as well. Is that right? Correct. Great. And Bob, if, as long oh, as you're Bob. locked to my beacon, I'm about to drop. Here we go, guys. Um, I've got a scanner, so I am going to scan it. If there are scouts here, we're going to leave. We're not going to stay. If it's scout. It is scouts. Don't drop in, guys, because there's 12 scouts here. Just don't even bother. I guess it could depend on the type of Thargoid, too, right? Possibly. All right, so everybody start looking for another threat six. And you know, another thing we didn't talk about, I'm glad somebody pointed this out, is um, running cold. So if you do run cold, you can draw, like with our sensors, you can drop off of their scanners um, and kind of hide from them. So running cold can be a, an advanced strategy that works well as well. So again, everybody look for a threat I have a threat six. six. A threat six, okay, great. I do have one. Well, let's drop it on link then. Surprisingly, the game wants me to be the first one. Ah. Yeah. Are you pretty close to it already? Yes. Okay, great. Of course, I just shot right by you. Yep, ED Profiler is uh, absolutely a good tool for custom colors, sure. Okay, a couple people are saying it will follow you forever. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I think um, you'd count on a D instance to lose it. See, that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't think it will just Which is jump not out, a mechanical it, thing. It, it's it, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and the thing is in here. It's okay, perfect, here. perfect. So I'm going to come up and scan it. Yep, there it is. So just don't let it hit you. I but also hold still, gonna... Link, because you don't want it to just keep chasing you if you're flying backwards. So do come to oh, a Oh, dude, stop. you're definitely doing the dangerous.com. <laughs> yes, I am, actually. <laughs> yeah, because I've got to get within range of it to scan it, Link, so hold still for me. Now, can you tell how this one looks a little different? It's, 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 yes, I can tell, and it's doing the scanny on me. And... Again, Blake, I need you to come to a stop, buddy. I'm never going to catch it if you don't. There you go. Uh, 
There we go. All right, getting the scan. Looks like we've got everybody here. And scan done. So now if you look at the contacts, we have five hearts this time. All okay. right, everybody ready to engage? I am. Three, two, one, fire. Um, Iron, do you have a, um, a shard cannon? Or a flak launcher? I do indeed. Okay, if you could potentially deal with the storm for us, that'd be awesome. Six. What is he spinning like this for? Spin going on. Uh, oh God. Something. Can be dizzy. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Okay, there it's back to normal. Something now. weird happened. That was really weird. Uh, is he but something's wrong? Something's like banging me. Something around. is wrong because I'm getting like knocked around, like force chill around. almost. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. something's wrong. Um, this happens from time to time, guys. Let's just jump out. We're not going to be able to kill this one. Okay. What the fuck? Is yeah, just get out. I mean, I know it's incredibly rare that there'd be a bug in Elite Dangerous. Yeah, this almost never happens. I mean, no, no. <laughs> All right, searching for a threat six again. Woodland 92 keeps saying that if you get an instance that has scouts, it's more stable, like less bugs and stuff, I guess. Interesting. I've never seen that. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? I've not. I just don't want to do it. I've got one. I've got a threat six. So follow me, guys. Yeah, and Woodland um, on tw YouTube is saying the same thing. So, yeah, if we have problems with this one, we'll go for a seven. Sure. I'm up for trying that. I'd be interested to test it, too. Sure, I, that's, sure. If it's more stable, I guess it's worth dealing with the scouts. We did a few. We did these for several hours last uh, week, a couple weeks ago. Um, I did a members only event with the Patreons and we didn't have any problems that night. Actually, we got really lucky, I guess. Yeah, we didn't have any problem. I mean, maybe one was bugged. We had one bug one. Remember it was stuck yeah. for a little while. Yeah. Something that like that. It. All right. Everybody nearby. I'm about to drop. Yes. About five seconds. It is kind of cool when the basilisk jumps in separately anyway, so uh, I'm up for that. And we we might just get a, a, a Medusa. Okay, and it looks like there is one here. Okay, it looks like there's one here. And getting the scan. Okay. Okay, scan done. And let's give one more second for who's not here yet. Uh, for Bob, and I think I just heard him drop in. Okay, great. I think we all in. Yep. Everybody ready? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire. Exerted. Almost like, almost like using the beam like a laser scope. 
Yeah, it's like a red dot. Being my shitty railgun aim. That's the right angle now. I think we lost the exertion. Seems like. Remember, these get harder. There it's back. Damn, he's fucking focusing the shit out of me. Okay, so guys, swarm down to eight. Try your best to ignore it. Great. I do love the sound of the shard of the shard cannon. Got it. Nice shooting, guys. Okay. Get some distance. He's going to try to force lightning whoever gets near him. Now we got to go for the shields. Okay, shields just dropped. Swarm's respawned. Okay. Okay, looks like he's exerted. That kind of hurt. Yep. Railgun aim link. Almost done. Yeah, we keep losing the exertion pretty quickly. I don't know if that's just because there's four of us in the instance. Nice, nice. Okay. This time should be caustic missiles. Be aware of those. Swarm is four. Okay. It's four. Is that what you said? Caustic Caustics. missiles? Yeah, watch those guys. Caustic missiles are four. Yep. Swarm is out. Missiles are down. Going back in. And forgive me, chat, for not being able to, to interact with you guys right now. Uh, if any of the moderators, Apostle, uh, if you happen to see, or Jaffo, anything that's noteworthy, by all means, point it out. Somebody just asked if you've got your night vision. Uh, I don't you know, generally like night vision. It, it can be a good thing to turn on. Um, I just kind of don't like visually. I just think it's kind of ugly, so I don't use it very much. Shields down. Heart is exerted. Heart is exerted. Yeah.
I'm at 54, so here in a minute I might go a little more conservative, just so I don't die, so I can stay in the instance. I tend to be very aggressive with these things. 36. Link, you haven't taken any hull damage yet. Done. Wow, is that hard already out? Yes, sir. Wow, that was fast. Okay, get ready for the sh... No, not shut down yet, right? One more. No, yeah, caustic missiles oh, again. Go. Yep, caustic missiles again. Incoming. Man, the distributor in the in the crate Mark II and Phantom is just not so big, isn't it? I think with one pip and engine, you can basically perma boost. New swarm is out. Copied that. Going back in. It's gonna grab me. Oh, I just got out of it. Do not want to be grabbed by the display. Man, he's really focusing me a lot this fight. Shields just dropped. Exert it again. Got 31. Ah, I just lost my canopy. Split wants to know if anybody tried shooting a torpedo at the dark light. I don't, <laughs> I don't, think, I don't so. think so. Okay, I'm going to turn on the uh, mouse reticle. Whoops, under control. Wow. I think. The mouse was. Yeah, they control. shot my power plant, but it's not completely out. So as you see, guys, that puts the little dot in the center of your screen. Eggs go repair. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to stay in the fight just so I can see the end of it. I'm just going to be a lot less aggressive Copy now. Copy that. How many hearts are left? Just uh, two. Okay. Is it exhaust? No, it's not. It's not. All right. All right. But yeah, I am going right. uh, to be a little more conservative now. Oh, nice ram. At one time, you could do this. I don't know if you can today. Can you transfer, like, a console to the game? Will Frontier do that now? Uh, you can transfer your credits, and that's all. Oh, no modules or nothing? Nope. nope. If you transfer between credit uh, console and PC or the other way, and you can only do it once, um, they'll transfer your credits, but that's it. Not your unlocks, not your ships, modules. Apparently, your fleet... Well, I, not even your fleet carrier, I don't think. Well, wow. But I'm not positive about fleet carrier. Get on that. Well, I'm free if you have a wing. For doing, I can uh, you know what? Now. Hold on. I'll leave this Bonnie and you can join me. Okay. That lost heart took a while, didn't it? All right, he's exerted. All right, let's finish him. Oh, boy, out of range. Uh, Bonnie, go ahead and send me a wing invite. There we go. Okay, my beacon should be up. Okay. Pods down. Excellent. Now we're going to get the shutdown. Correct. I'm just boosting. Uh, I'll get near you, um, Iron, because I've got a, a, a shutdown neutralizer. 
Oh, I can't copy that, but I'm just boosting out of here. That's what I do. I'm trying. You're, you're pretty far away from me. What is the distance yeah, for this? One? It's, it's the entire instance. Oh. Sometimes if you get far enough away, he won't actually do it. Right. And I have to feed him. This is what happened now. Uh, he's not. He will All do right. it. He might still do it, though. So. He might. But we can go back in. Correct. He's on my six. Yeah, Link, if you can. Mm, I tried to catch up. Reengage. Whoops. Oh, I'm out of ammo, even. Gonna go after the swarm. It's unexplorable, it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna float away and, and I think I can set the reload. Uh, oops, was that over the top? Yeah. Beam laser mail function. My module's like coming big toast. Is it exposed again? No. Okay, somebody's saying if it, if it can't establish a target lock, it won't EMP. So, okay, yeah, if you're far enough away from it and it can't lock you, that makes sense. I got swarms down to 10. Sheila, better six. So we're good in the swarm. Excellent. Uh, Bonnie, do I see that you're in now? I mean, yeah. Roger that. And I was just uh, facing... I didn't know how was the... The status, okay, I see him now. Shit. For some reason, it's not doing anything to the heart. Hello? Yeah, that it's is a, a bug. bug. It's like this. Give it a second. So, okay, there it goes. There it goes. It's taking damage now. Now 99. Was that UX doing the damage? I mean, it, it, it took damage when I fired at it once, so... I... Yeah, I see two. There we go. 37. Yep. 37. It's... Yep. Oh, my canopy will be... Oh, no! I need it! <laughs> Oh no, you just, we have a problem. Just make sure you sent the life support if uh, you it's, have to. It, it's gone home. Let's exit the hunt. Ah, uh, he's got me. Has uh, exited. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> One. Ah, damn it, I died. I'll try to get back as quick as I can. I shouldn't have gone in for Come that last on. pass. I shouldn't have gone in for just that last pass. Okay, you guys talking no, through. Right oh, I mean, I don't care. It's just a bummer that everybody can't see now. I'll get there as fast as I can, guys. Should have played more conservatively. Same to me. Uh, that's embarrassing. F, yeah, Showing I'm going to say Rally. Really, F, F, F in chat. Die on your own stream. No shit. Cuts out again. F in chat for X. Uh, can, Bonnie, can you cycle your beacon for me? Okay, I see you. Yeah, I do. Iron Fist, you're still with me, but I can't hey, help hey, you, Mark. My canopy is gone, and... Hot's done. I, oh, perfect. But still Hot's one done. left, isn't it? Nope. Correct. Okay, Everybody get back here, please. We've got a couple minutes now. Yeah, get, get, if How you many? guys can not kill it, give me just a second to get back. I, I'm getting away now. How many hearts I'm, I'm missing? That should be it. That should be it. Okay. So I, I have already only five minutes of oxygen. That's 20% only. Actually, no, that's it. Yeah. Cost X. Oh, shit. <sighs> 
I'm 27%. Okay, let me dodge the missiles. <laughs> oh, one contact. Uh, four minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> yeah, somebody said if, if gluttony can die to a cyclops, it's not that bad to die to a basculus. <laughs> Shields and backups have to knock them down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little surprised to hear Gluttony died to a Cyclops. What was he in? Was he in a, a, a hauler? Six. I've tried probably back in the day when they first launched the small weapons. I probably tried ten times to do it in a hauler. X is back in. Copy that. Welcome back. Uh, so where the fuck is he? Actually, my so weapon weapons, all of them are male function. I can't even shoot them. There he is. All right, Ivan, it's up to you. Finish him off. Yeah, finish him <laughs> off. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's done. Oh, there he goes. And he's done, ladies there and gentlemen. There he goes. Alright. Get away from AFK. Get away from AFK. And see that big cloud that's forming around him? That cloud will yeah. fuck you up. Uh, by the way, uh, if someone has a bit more hull than I have, you could try to get caustic and uh, see if it is with one under 20 or one under. Uh, 60 uh, I'm uh, willing to do it for science. Hold on. <laughs> and and to show the boys and girls how quickly you do melt from this. <laughs> split. Okay, so you see, let's see. All right, I've got it in there. Let me get out of the cloud. Yeah, okay, it's it's not going as fast as I remember. I guess if you sit in there, it's pretty bad. Um, so Okay, so let's go silent. And, okay, there's... 180. I went to 180 almost immediately. Hasn't burned off yet. I let it drop down pretty quickly. Okay, I'm at 130 and it is not burning off. Yeah, I'm going to bring myself back up again. I'm at 184 now. Should be good. Hasn't burned off yet. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's correct information. Still hasn't burned off. <laughs> is that a glitch? That's at 200. There it is goes, that a glitch? there it goes. No, it's just that the caustic from the cloud is just really, really strong. Concentrated acid, yeah. 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 So you have to go over 200, it looks like. Um, and in fact, where... It Where'd the cloud go? Is it still here? That could be the problem. That yeah, was the, the skill ceiling snapped up really, really fast. If that was only the second hardest, okay. Uh, actually, if the, if the cloud's still here, there we go. I'm going to go back in and just get caustic just because that's a faster way to die. Just I've got to go repair it. It'll, be... it'll, it'll just save us a little time. So I'm just going to melt myself. Yeah. I'm picking up the heart. It's at 50%. That means the caustic won't affect you anymore. Okay, I got in here before it before it was really dead. Let me show everybody what the heart looks like. Um, Do it. Cannot comply. Try I'm going to move the geometry out of the way. So, there is a Thargoid heart. Thargoid doesn't look dead yet. Kind of creepy. Uh, and Link, so you can see this since you're probably not watching this channel. I'm put it in the live streaming chat channel. Let me have a look. How is that in size compared to an unknown probe or 
Artifact. Nice. You picked it up right in my face. That was great. Uh, I'm just going to self-destruct. I'm dying very slowly, so I'm just going to self-destruct just to save us some time. Copy that. Um, yeah, because it, well, it's actually 350. Um, why don't we do this? Because we really don't have time, because I've got some things I've got to do anyway. Um, I really don't have time to go do another one. Um, however, if there's enough interest and we want to do um, some CQC for a little bit, um, I'm definitely up for a round of CQC, especially since Link hasn't done that. So I guess the question is, <laughs> Iron Bonnie, are you guys in for CQC? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, great. So that's enough right there. Le uh, Lego, I assume you join us, right? Uh, I'm doing Blender, and I gotta go to work right away. So okay, okay, no worries. Um, so, um, yeah, so we'll just let's do CQC. Um, just with the, the, the and anybody else that's in Discord, anybody else that's listening, if you would like to join us for CQC, please do. I join. I've I've never done that before. That's but... great. That's great. That's perfect then. I'll be there too. Oh, I should have turned my control overlay back on. Sorry, I forgot to do that, guys. Uh, okay, so first, I'm going to jump my carrier because we have uh, practice later. So let me get that going. And then, again, if you're listening and would like to come um, play some CQC with us, if you've never done it, it's huge fun the only negative the biggest negative to cqc is matchmaking and we're going to bring enough to get a match so it won't shouldn't take all that long i think Mike i Jack. have uh, to leave the ring to queue for matchmaking right i'm sorry say that uh, yeah so go to main menu so it's you can queue in game but it's for what we're doing just go to main menu right um, so Blackwood it, says, aren't carriers insane things to have in terms of cost and all that? Yes, they do cost quite a lot. Um, I get a ton of value out of it, though. I've got something like 36 or 37 fully engineered ships on my carrier. And the ability to bring all of them in one place all at once, for me personally, is all I ever wanted in a carrier. Sure, I wish there was a ton more that they could do. Like, I wish you could really earn credits off them. I wish there was a lot lot more to them but just the simple ability to be able to do that is is huge right we have 27 of them in the squadron 20 in the squadron 27 7 i'm surprised it's not more than that 27 oh and by the way so and they're, wayne, all, on one, and they're all on one system right wayne now. was asking 20 whoops shit um, Wayne asked, uh, did that last cheater get banned to solo? Well, I don't know exactly. Um, I actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's check something. Cause I think I remember his name. Uh, let's see when the last he logged in was, I think it was way below, way left like that. Okay. So he was active six days ago. Was that, it was last Tuesday. So that would be right. Um, so I, it's, I don't know. I, I frontier's not going to tell me. However, um, he interacted with me on Twitter afterwards as well. Kind of said the same thing. He came into chat for, by the way, for those that weren't here last Tuesday, we had a guy during CQC straight up cheating. Um, so he was running the trainer at unlimited shields. Uh, cement noticed pretty quickly. We all stopped shooting at each other so we could get video of, he left the instance pretty quick. He then came into voice and admitted he was cheating. His excuse was that he was out near Sagittarius A and and had taken some damage and was was limping back home. Like that was his excuse, which we called bullshit. You can find the clip of me. I was like, oh, good. So thanks for admitting that so that we can get you banned. I banned him from our Discord instantly, reported it to the community team, opened a ticket on it. He then pinged me on Twitter, said the same kind of thing. And I said, look, it's nice that you're owning up to this, but it's also very troubling that you're justifying it because I'm sorry, Elite is not a single player game. It is a multiplayer game. You can choose to play solo if you want, but especially for exploration, if he's out there cheating and he's getting first discovers on things, well, absolutely that affects other players. Okay. Well, we noticed the next morning he deleted his Twitter account. So... And the last tweet that he sent to me was something to the effect of, I guess I'll prepare prepare for the long 
cruise out into the black or some some illusion to that he was going to be banned. So the answer is I don't know, but from all of that and as high profile as it was, I would be shocked if not. And there is nothing elite or dangerous about cheats. That's a great way to say it. Okay, is everybody in the CQC lobby? Yep. Um, is anybody negative. not? I'll okay. Be okay. Be there, Lord. So, are you going? Are we waiting for you, Iron? No, no. Go ahead. I'll be there. In a okay. Okay. Too. Um. So gotta, why don't I've, we I've program the ship? Why don't we start with? Let's see. I'm okay, Link. I'm gonna. How many? Do you have a ton of friends, Link? Online in the game right now? No, just period. You Let's put it this way. You've got less than I do. Um, and, and you're going to see what a pain in the ass this is. <laughs> wow, nice so, flex. well, dude, I've got like 1,400. So I'm not trying oh, to flex, dude, but you it's cool. um, no, not at all. Um, so on the CQC <laughs> screen, Link, go over to the right and you see where it says invite to squad. Yeah. Click that. Scroll through the list. And this is what the bitch is. It, it Why this doesn't sort or filter oh, for yeah, just okay. your online you friends. Mean. It's absurd. Yeah, so yeah. Find I get me it. In the, find me in the list and invite me to squad. That way, at least you I, and I, since you've I'll been try. my guest today, at least you and I will get into a session together. Give me a second. Yes, yeah, we always end. It's been a tradition since my first stream ever. I always end streams with a round of CQC. So, so uh, Hex, would you like to know a fun fact about Link? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no, everybody, I know what's coming now. <laughs> everybody says his name wrong. If you look at it, it's actually supposed to be Lynn Cohn. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the camera. <laughs> you know yeah. what? You're right. I thought it was supposed to be Link 1. No, but yeah, you see the You're right. Camera, so it Lynn is Cohn. Lynn Cohn, isn't it? It's yeah. actually, no, no, no. It's <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> what's it supposed to be, Link? <laughs> actually, it, it's... The plan was just like to make Link, but Link was already taken. So okay. Link 1 was the next option. And I think this on normal ways was already also taken. So I had to use an O, uh, a zero to do a it. Zero. Okay, okay. But it is Link. Yes. Okay, oh, okay. No. That is pretty funny though, Lego. Okay, so now I, I Link, like what Iron said, so Link Cun. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to count down in a second, and Link, you're going to click on, we'll do Team Deathmatch. You're going to click on Team Deathmatch. We're all going to just click at the same time and cross our fingers that we get instance together. So is anybody that's in Did you get the invite? I, just I did, I did. We're in a squad now. Okay. We're in a squad now. Um, is anybody in Discord not ready? Good answer. So Link and everybody, here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one, click. Uh, mic check? Yep, we got you. Wait, did you say team deathmatch or deathmatch? Team deathmatch, team deathmatch. Okay, 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 I choose the right one. Yeah. And so everybody, we'll do this one. Um, I'm going to call, we're, we'll do this one match, um, and then I'm going to call it a day after this. So um, thank you everyone for joining. I'm not sure if, oh, and damn, I've forgotten his name that, that rated Dude, me. Dude, we actually loaded the are. Wow, we did get one quickly. Um... Let's see, who are we in with? And of course, Link, it put us on different teams, even though we squatted. Get him, Link. Get him. If I find him. Are those ships unengineered? Uh, oh, yeah, these are the... Right. Yeah, there's they, no engineering they have, for like, CQC. engineered FDL laterals, even when you're not boosting. They have uh, really strong laterals all the time, um, but you can't boost very often. Kind of, yeah. Feels like an unengineered Viper. What are you flying? I don't know. It's like you're I don't know. It's not you're the Condor. G97. Yeah, what is that? The best one. I killed Do something. Do you think so, Lego? The the Imperial Fighter. That's the one I prefer. Why? No, I'm not. Um, handles a little better. It's a smaller target. Pretty much it. First kill on Link. Thank you. <laughs> Change loadout. Oh, no, whatever. Uh, you probably don't have enough unlocked to really do at rank four. Wait, does my targeting not work? No, you have should... to target oh, uh, visually. You have to target forward. There's yeah. no cycling. Yep. Lol. Okay. Right. <laughs> 
There's a guy in here named German Beer. At Link. No, that's not me. Do you know him? No. Yeah, because all <laughs> do, Germans do know each other. I know every single German in a video game. You know Akuma, right? What do you mean? On the personal side? I have talked to him, if you mean that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, there we go. Uh, Lin Lincoln got me that time. Hello. Nicely done, Kyle. <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta go. I'll be back. Alright, Legola. See ya. Take care, buddy. And pit management is especially important in CQC, given the tiny distributor. Uh, just a quick plug, um, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday at 4 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock UTC, um, will be our next round of Sidewinder Slaughter. We did that last night and had a ton of fun, so if you've not done that before, come on by. It is a blast. Uh, and then on Friday, um, I'm going to have... Um, uh, another elite streamer, a newer one, um, Psychit, is going to join me. Um, not sure what we're going to do yet. i got to ask her what um, what she's up for. Um, we might just, we'll probably just do something like, like sightseeing exploration so we can chit-chat. My situational awareness sucks when I'm not in VR. Oh no, boost! <laughs> you did. Boost! You did. Uh, you do know yeah. about the power-ups that are around the board, right, Link? Link? Around the map? Oh no, actually I didn't. Okay, so yeah, ah. if you look on your scanner, you're gonna see there's two of them on this map. Um, one of them is double damage, um, and one is um, shield, I think, on this map, if I remember right. There is an edge to the map, so be aware of that. I think we're getting pretty far out here, I think. Do you actually have a chaff launcher? You do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ah, nice. It doesn't last very long at all, as you see. Oh, good picture, Dark Side. Yeah. One more. One more for red, and we lose. Link, if you get one more kill, it's over. Mm hmm. Ah, Cable, thanks for the poop, my friend. For Twitch that doesn't know, uh, Cable just pooped on me with the poop emoji in, in Twitter. I mean, on Twitch. I mean, on YouTube. Duh. Can't talk. Words hard. Oh, oh, oh. How does one start Contact CQC? Um, yeah, you... Um, how do you start? If you mean, like, how do you get into a match? You just go to Arena off the main menu. Um, when I tried to enter, it was matched with an OP. And, yeah, and the problem is the ranking and the matchmaking sucks. Like, look at the two different matches here. Right. And I guess that's why it did it. So 50 and yeah, we got into a bad, I mean, there's like middle of the day. A lot of the, the veterans are on. And so I'm going to continue that. I'm going to back out right now, Link. This is actually an active game mode. I wasn't uh -huh. expecting this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's not super active, but especially let me show uh, the boys and girls how you do it from in game. Which, oh, it's chocolate ice cream, not poop. I'm sorry, guy. Oh, shit. My carrier's jumping, so I can't show you. Um, but if we were in cockpit, you can go on the social menu right there at the top. There's a queue for matchmaking and you can just queue right there. So as you're flying around, it will pop up and say, hey, would you like to join a match? Right. And so you don't you can just be playing and wait and and get one queued that way. So it's great. Uh, let me at least bring up chocolate covered pretzel. <laughs> yeah, those were weird looking Thargoids, weren't they? In fact, you know, let me do this. I, I'll just get back to the, co to the main menu and we can look at my, we can look at my pretty paint job. So, well, Link, guys, we're going to call it um, here in just a second. Um, Link, thanks so much for joining. I'm sorry we didn't get to go through, you know, and see the Medusa and the Hydra, Thank but hopefully, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and you're up for trying it again sometime. Yeah, as a PVP, what's, what's your take? 
what I take from this? Yeah, what's your take that on it? NPCs, that NPCs can be a lot more difficult than I always thought in the game. Like the regular NPCs are like, meh, but fucking Thargoids, they are no joke. Oh, they really aren't, are they, right? They are no joke. So yeah, yeah, it's exciting. It's actually, yeah, where, uh, where, as you yeah. know, like, you know, even in a pirate activity beacon, and just so everybody knows, pirate activity beacons are the hardest com NPC combat other than Thargoids in the game because you're going to run into a lot of ships like a conflict zone, but a lot of them are going to be engineered and very well engineered. And so that's hard, but it's hard in a sense of attrition, right? As long as you've got enough shields and enough dps it's just a matter of time and, and definitely some skill but it's not like what it takes for thargoids and the strategy okay so imagine link what we just did imagine solo one of those in a in a sidewinder Right. So with the sidewinder, you've got to be a lot more, you know, strategic about it. You've got to run away when the shields go back up. You've got to time that. You've got to really make sure you kite the missiles and kite the Thargon swarm. You know, you've got to run in and get your shots in really quickly and then run back out and things like that. So it's a lot more complex. Um, and I Isn't find my it internet doing a ton of stuff. Fun. Oh, we've got you I now. Almost can't understand you. If we lost you for a second, we've got you now, Link. Have you got us? Oh. Sounds like we're starting to lose link. Discord, you guys are hearing me, right? Yep. Okay, okay. So it sounds like it's just something with link, unfortunately. So, uh, well, again, guys, uh, I appreciate everybody joining today. Uh, the raid was fun. Oh, I was, yeah, I was scrolling back up because I was trying to remember who it was that raided me because I wanted to say thank you. I, didn't, I can't remember the name. Uh, uh, and emulated Penguin. Uh, Penguin, I'm not sure if you're still around, buddy, but I appreciate the raid from earlier on. That was great. Um, and again, yeah, if you guys want to join for Sidewinder Slaughter, that's tomorrow again, 4 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific. Um, Psychic is on Friday, although so it might, I got to talk to her, it might get moved to Thursday because I don't know if you've seen the new Ubisoft game, A Game of Space. So A Game of Space releases on Friday um, and I've, I've already been in touch with Ubisoft and they're supposed to be getting me an early key and it wasn't clear if I was going to be able to get it early and stream it on Thursday or if I was just going to be able to stream it on launch day on Friday. But um, I'm kind of looking forward to it, right? So um, if you guys haven't seen A Game of Space, it's, I believe, a VR only time title that is an exploration and mining game it looks like um but it looks like like specifically the mining com mechanics are pretty advanced it's kind of like that game um where you cut up spaceships i can't remember the name of it, but you guys not, might know what i'm talking about where you where you uh you know like you've got lasers and stuff and you deconstruct spaceships uh, somebody in chat knows what i'm talking about i just can't re remember the name of it so uh, Oh, you're breaking up terribly, Lego. Shipbreaker, shipbreaker yeah. something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So um, so again, thanks for joining everybody. And uh, thanks, and I will catch everybody here soon.